Ladies and gentlemen, I pride myself on being an excellent driver, uh, especially during the winter time. Uh, one thing that I will mention about that, though, is women make you do stupid things, and that is 100% true. So today I'm going to tell you a story about my first and only car accident that I was in, but didn't have any reason. I didn't cause it, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so basically this goes back to high school. I was dating this girl, uh, you know, and we were going to see her with my buddy. I, my buddy and I were going to go up to her hometown uh, because his girlfriend was from there too. It was about 20 miles away. And so me and him were going to go pick her and her friend up, which we were both dating those two at the time. So I drove up in my car and, uh, you know, we picked them up and... You know, I had a tiny car. I had a little Ford Escort uh, ZX2 as a coupe. And, uh, you know, so the girls are going to have to sit in the back and, just, you know, it, w whatever, whatever. So my body was like, yo, dude, um, if you want to let, you know, my girl, my girl sit up front, I'll drive. And then you can sit in the back with your girlfriend. I was like, yo, that's cool with me, man. You know, you got a driver's license. I trust you with my vehicle. That, that's cool, whatever. And I'm gonna tell you something, the statistic where they say that car accidents are more likely to occur within five miles of your home, 100% true. So we're driving, we're driving, we're driving, everything's going fine, everything's going great. And uh, we get right outside of my town, right outside. And it's by the cemetery and there is a guardrail that covers uh, the cemetery, the fence before the cemetery starts. And you know, we're listening to music, we're chilling, we're talking, we're laughing, having a good time. And uh, Buddy didn't realize that he was going kind of quick. He was going about 55 on a 35. And uh, when the turn started coming up, he pushed on the brakes. He didn't slam on the brakes. He pushed on the brakes, and we started sliding. Now, at this point in time, he freaks out. He freaks out and slams his foot on the brakes. Like, he lets off the brakes and slams it on. We start going sideways, right? We're going sideways. So now we're going sideways down the road. Thank God nobody else is coming. And so we're going, we're going, we're going, and I know we're going to hit it. I know we're going to hit the guardrail. So I brace myself. I'm holding my girl back. And, uh, you know, she's in her seatbelt. I actually wasn't wearing a seatbelt at this point in time. And we're, we're sliding at about 45, 50 miles an hour down the road. And uh, we come up. I'm seeing the guardrail get closer and closer. And I'm not freaking out about anything but everybody's safety. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What's going on? So we, we go and we slam just... Boom, right into the fucking guardrail. And, uh, you know, we get out, we get out. Everybody okay? Everybody okay? You know, kind of thing like that. Everybody's fine. Uh, the car was missing the left wheel. The left wheel was gone. And the guardrail was actually inserted into the vehicle. It had, the way that it hit, it had snapped off of the post and had went into the door right next to my buddy's, like, where his abdomen, stomach would have been. So, I mean, I don't know what would have happened if we would have went a little further and that thing would have broke through the door. Because, I mean, it, it shredded through straight metal. Like, just shredded through it like no problem at all. I mean, we were going fucking quick. So, essentially, we had to wait. Uh, we talked to the cops, kind of told them what had happened. Uh, I lied and told them that I was driving because it was my car, my insurance, everything. And we were young. And I told them, you know, I'm driving. I was changing there, turning the radio station down. And, you know, when I went to, you know, I was, so I was messing with the radio. And I pu pushed on the brakes as the, the turn was coming up. And we started sliding and hit the guardrail. Uh, everything was fine. No tickets. Didn't have to pay for anything. The damage was about $1,500. To get my car fixed which i did not have as i was a kid so i had to have my parents help me out with that but it was just crazy man it was the only car accident i've ever been in uh only one i hope to ever be in again because it was aids man it was absolutely terrible and i hope to never have to go through that again and i hope nobody else has to either and the reason that i wanted to share this short story today is because it is the winter time in the majority of you know the united states and things like that and i just wanted to let everybody know that stay safe man you know don't text and drive don't fiddle with your radio when you're you know on slippery roads and stuff pay attention to the road stay safe your family needs you we need you i need you take it easy man and just be careful all right i love you if you like the content, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Stay up to date on all of my current videos and content, and I will see you in the next video.